What's up everybody? Welcome to this week's video. So in this video, I just want to kind of give an update about my nomadic trip video that I posted like three months or so ago and how those plans have changed actually. I'll kind of detail why those plans have changed and you know what I'll be doing going forward. And for the reason why those plans have changed, I'll actually discuss them. There are two reasons why. So with the first reason, it's because I don't have the funds I feel comfortable with to embark on this long photography journey. I originally wanted at least two years worth of funds. So that would give me at least, you know, enough for at least one year of traveling and then extra in case you know that didn't really go anywhere and I would need you know to have something else lined up basically just in case I can't make a living out of it and I have to find another job somewhere or you know basically not the rush into something that I'd be very unhappy with and to try and do this by that time that I wanted to leave which I originally said was next year early next year but maybe january or march i really had to sacrifice a lot this year in terms of traveling and with that i mean i had to actually not travel at all i was basically stuck in la i didn't go even for short trips because i was saving all the money i needed i didn't really travel much this year i only really traveled in april i believe which was to hawaii for you know this long trip this plan that i had in my head so I basically sacrificed all the traveling. I saved all the money that I had. And uh, besides that, I haven't been out of the state, out of the city even. So I've been in LA basically this entire time. And I'll discuss this later, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I need to travel. But even with that, even with all the sacrificing of not traveling for, you know, the past many months, I still haven't been able to reach my goal of what I'd feel comfortable with leaving for this long trip. And if I predict, you know, my savings up until next year, next March or next January, whenever I was planning on leaving, I probably still wouldn't even make it. So uh, yeah, that actually leads me to the next reason, which is I need to travel and um, I've been dying to travel. And because I didn't have enough money for this long trip anyways, I kind of just thought like, hey, I'm just gonna push the trip back in order to be able to travel right now because I'm not gonna have the funds ready anyways for the trip. So I might as well just push that back and then enjoy my time right now. Not only would it help scratch this itch that I have to travel right now, but I think it's just necessary in terms of my photography. As I said many times in my videos, to the point where I'm basically complaining about it, uh, I'm just sick of LA and photographing around here. I just need a new environment to explore and photograph. Combining that with my love to travel, it just makes it something that I need to do. Now where? I thought of this since I got my vacation approved. Uh, there are so many countries I want to visit. Spain, UK, Canada, Portugal, Singapore, Malaysia, and the list goes on and on. But in the end, it was between four places. Vietnam, Thailand, Korea, and Japan. I was deciding whether I wanted to go to Vietnam and Thailand, as for those places, not only are they places that I've been wanting to travel to for a long, long time, but I've never been to those places before. On the other hand, I can go back to Korea and Japan and explore places I'm pretty familiar with and get more shots of there. Ultimately, because the trip will last me for a while, and I'll luckily be in the area for the fall time, I decided to go back to Korea and Japan. There are a couple of reasons why I decided to go back, but the main reason is because last year, I left right when the Follies were coming out, and that killed me so, so much. But this year, I'll be able to capture them, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've already looked up a lot of cool places that I want to photograph for the fall time, in addition to all the ones from last year that I didn't get to go to, so I have a bunch of locations that I want to visit and hit up. Not only would I get shots from those locations, but with how I like to travel and explore random places and, you know, travel the unbeaten path, I'd also be able to get photos from those areas that aren't so popular, but just as exciting for me. Man, just talking about these plans is making me that much more excited for this trip. And honestly, I've been basically waiting for this entire year for this moment. That feeling of traveling and adventuring, as well as just surrounding myself in such photogenic cities with tons of opportunities for all types of photography, landscape photography, street photography, cityscape photography, and so on and so forth. Again, I'm hoping I can satisfy my need to explore and just get myself in a new environment in terms of my photography. So when I get back to LA, I'll be able to get myself back into photographing the city. Though honestly, I don't think it would because last year when I came back, I was good for like a month or two, then I got sick of the place again. So yeah, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> Anyways, I don't wanna make this video too long. Oh, and also with this trip, I'll be able to further test out my travel setup and hopefully I can further tune it to make it more efficient for traveling. If I find out any helpful tricks or tips to make traveling easier, you already know that I'll be sharing it with y'all. So if you wanna know more about that, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can check out more of my tips from my older videos and see if they help you with your travel setup if you're curious about that. Anyways, this video is probably getting a little longer than I originally wanted. So I'll talk to y'all next week. Until next time, later.